Yes, I'm a rich nigga, rich nigga, rich nigga I heard that you is a bitch nigga, bitch nigga Keep a 30 stick nigga, bitches on my dick nigga I'm patiently waiting for your ass to trip nigga Fuck nigga, flip nigga, you know that I'm lit nigga Walking with the band so I could pay for the hit nigga Diamond chain, choke a bitch so I could not trip nigga They changed on me so many times I cannot trust now I'm happy Because I get to be in L.A. Damn, 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 damn. I love LA. Damn, 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 damn. We love it. <laughs> Our reason to be excited. Don't expect the Lakers to win. Don't think I'm thinking the Lakers going to win the championship because they're not. They'll be back in the playoffs, but they'll be irrelevant enough for me to go to LA. What can I say? I ain't apologizing for that. Well, we know you is a bitch, so you ain't going up, no You ain't never bust your straps, so we call that a rust gun I'm the type of nigga, eat the ice when the whole cup done Diamonds, they so big up in my chain, they look like mushrooms Now, being here, there is one element of pressure And that one element of pressure is this Other than Elgin Baylor, every star that has ever worn the purple and gold Delivered the championship Every one of them All right? So LeBron's gonna have to do that too. These niggas keep talking about that smoke, but they don't want no. Heavy artillery on me, or did you got one gun? You know my chain is gonna shot even when the whole sun done. If I wear all this shit at the same time, we're on whole ton. Yes, I'm a rich nigga, rich nigga, rich nigga. I heard that you is a bitch nigga, bitch nigga. Keep a 30 stick nigga, bitches on my dick nigga. That drink is going hard, but don't let that distract you from the fact that Uzi is absolutely killing every feature verse song he's on. Anyways, we didn't come here to talk about Uzi. I just wanted to do that intro because I like to have a lot of fucking fun on this shit. Anyways, let's get it started. Okay, so there's a few things. No, actually, there's a lot of things that I want to say that this means for the LeBron trade. I had a little bit, I mean, the LeBron uh, sided. I had a little bit more time to think about it. And this is, okay, first thing I want to say before we even get started. Everyone's saying bandwagon this, bandwagon that, sign this for him, sign that for him, even some of the people that are doing it. If you're like me, if you've been a LeBron fan for more than just a few days ago, right? I'm not signing shit. I'm not a bet. I'm so dumb. I'm so sick and tired of motherfuckers acting like we're bandwagons because we go where LeBron goes. Nigga, I am not a fan of these teams, bro. What the fuck? The only reason I even kind of like the Lakers now is because Alonzo. You don't see me with any other Laker jersey, right? I'm not a fan of the fucking Cavs. What the fuck? I'm a fan of LeBron, right? So if I've been a fan of LeBron, if y'all been a fan of LeBron, nigga, I'm not bandwagoning. I'm not switching up shit. I'm not switching up anything. I've been right here. I've been doing the same shit. Maybe we haven't made ourselves clear enough, but I'm here to make everything clear right now that I have never been a fan of any of these teams. I'm not a fan of any team. I like the Thunder because of Westbrook. I liked the Cavs because of LeBron, right? It's that simple. I don't know. That's just me. I'm more of a fan of players than teams. The fuck is the team doing for me? <laughs> anyway, okay. So, anyways, uh, LeBron is on the Lakers. Yesterday in my video, I said that mean Kawhi is for sure coming to the Lakers. Yeah, that's not as easy as I thought it was going to be. You have Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, uh, Mo Wagner, who you just signed. You can't trade him for 30 days. Kuzma Kyle will be Kuzma, very attractive. Had a great jo rookie season. Josh Hart. You can you can combine all those, and that gets you to 18 million dollars. But you basically have to clear out all your young players here. So you and have to get rid of everybody. You got to get rid of everybody because you are not a team under the cap right now. And you'd have to do the same thing to get Boogie Cousins. Boogie Cousins is unrealistic. Okay, so everybody out there that's saying that that's what you want to do, you can't do it. Um, I'll leave a link to two videos in the description I want you to check out. So basically, it's going to be real hard to get Kawhi. Um, we're going to have to probably trade Ingram, Dang, and two first-round picks or something like that. Stephen A. Smith thinks that the Lakers should give up anyone other than Kuzma. So that means anyone else could go. Randall, Lonzo, Ingram, any of them. I would offer Brandon Ingram. I would offer Josh Hart. I would offer two first-round picks. 
Wow. All right. I would definitely do that. I would do everything that I could to hold on to Kuzma, but I'd give them pretty much anything else that they wanted outside of Kyle Kuzma. Now, for what else I heard, San Antonio was already on the phone with the Lakers twice today. They're trying to get a deal done. San Antonio's asking for the farm. Lakers ain't having it. Magic and, and Rob Palenka have told them Kyle Kuzma is off limits. He ain't going nowhere. So they're going to have to figure out something. Because Magic's whole mentality is, yo, if you don't come, now if you don't give him to us now, he coming to us next summer. If I couldn't do that, then what I would do is I would make a call for Boogie Cousins. Boogie Cousins is not going to be ready to play before January. It's quite possible he might miss the season, but because of the injury that he's coming off of, regardless of what he wants, he might come on the cheap. So, with that being said, I don't like this. I don't like this LeBron trade even more than I did yesterday. I'm not a fan, bro. I am not a fan of this move at all. Like, I'm, I'm not a big... I don't know why LeBron did this, man. Four years is a long time to, to be in Los Angeles. If anything, if I was LeBron, I would have I would have stayed in the East. I would have stayed on the Cavs for one more year or went to the Sixers. Personally, I would have gone to the Sixers. To me, the Sixers seemed like the perfect move. The coach was already dick sucking LeBron, and they were clearing up the Cavs space. You got MB super. Th- I would have went to the Sixers. Um, but if I would have went to the West. I only would have went for like a year or two, right? And then I would have signed like a player option so I could get out after a year or two. And because I'm just not a, having to beat the Warriors just to make it to the finals is not is not the move at all, bro. That's really not the move at all. Um, that's going to be so hard. LeBron literally could have made the finals every single year of his career if he hadn't have left the Eastern Conference. Now making the finals every single year is going to be fucking impossible there's absolutely no way he makes the finals every single year if he's in the west like you can't beat the war every year the boys are three of the top five shooters of all time anyways okay so with the squad we have right now no Kawhi, no cousins how is this any better than the Cavs? I heard that LeBron wasn't really talking to anyone on the Cavs, so he probably just didn't want to play with any of them anymore. He just was tired the whole year, pissed him off. I get it. I mean, maybe this team's a little better than the Cavs, but the Western Conference is harder, so it's like, you know what I mean? This team in the Western Conference would be, I mean, in the, this Lakers in the Eastern Conference would be way more lit than the Lakers in the West, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't even know how much better this even is. Raptors fans are hype as fuck. This is the first time in y'all life you guys have a chance to make it to the finals. Holy shit, Raptors. <laughs> Raptors fans get drink and LeBron memes in the same week. Nigga, y'all are, y'all over there going crazy. That's hilarious. Raptors fans, good for you guys, man. Best player in the Eastern Conference probably now is Giannis or Kyrie. Um, Eastern Conference is a goddamn joke. Goddamn joke. I couldn't care less about the Eastern. I've never really cared about. I couldn't care less about the Eastern Conference right now. It's sad. It's pathetic. So that's most of the shit I wanted to say. We have to try and whoever we have to get rid of to get Kawhi, do it. Cousins would be dope too, but I want Kawhi. There's no way we could get both. We can't get both. So, let's just get Kawhi and then get another one next year when we got another max. That's what I would do if I'm the Lakers. I don't know. I'm surprised LeBron signed first. Like, when he did the heat shit, he let the nigga sign before him. And then he signed. You feel me? Like, Bosh and well, shit were already on the team. And then he signed. This time, he, like, went first before anyone else did anything. Lance Stevenson is decent. JaVale McGee, that doesn't do anything for me. Um, I think that's everything. If anybody has a plug on tickets, season tickets, hit your boy up. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Leave all your comments below. Let me know what you think. I'm even less of a fan of this today than I was yesterday. I don't know, man. I got a bad feeling about this. Hopefully everything works out and it's good and Brian makes the finals again, but... 
I like the Eastern Conference, man. You know what I'm saying? The Eastern Conference was our baby. You know what I'm saying? That was our baby guy. You know what I'm saying? That was our... Fuck! <laughs> All right. All right, I'm out of here. Oh, and one last thing. I seen that Anthony Davis bought a house in Los Angeles. Seven, eight million dollar house. Like 90 minutes away from the Staples Center. I don't know if they can pull that off. How they can pull that off. If they can pull that off. I'm just saying that they can buy a house in LA. And LeBron's there. And why would LeBron sign if someone else wasn't coming for sure? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> oh, by the way. Stay off the weed. I just did that for folks out there that love me saying that. That obviously has nothing to do with LeBron. Just want to let y'all know.